Okay, so there was some loud noise. As you can still see, the bottles started to rotate. Uh, but why? What was the what's the thing behind the rotation? What causes it? And that's question for you. Time for you to choose your answer, and I will start to uh, explain this experiment a bit. Can sound move things? Well, most of you uh, probably uh, felt it yourself. If you are in a space where it's really loud music with deep uh, sounds, with deep frequencies, you can hear, uh, you can even feel the vibrations on your uh, body. And that's because uh, sound uh, travels through the air as a longitudinal no, uh, wave. So here, here is uh, air. Okay, the spring represents air. And I will uh, push the air from this side and you can watch the spring move okay yeah you can see that uh, the spring at one place squishes squishes and then it spreads apart actually uh, the sound travels to the bottles too and as it travels to the bottle it uh, makes it way, its way through the neck, then it travels down, bounces from the bottom and travels back up. The parts where the string was squished, those, these are called uh, notes, and the parts where the string was spread apart are called antinodes. Well, when the note or the wave itself reaches the bottle and enters the bottle, the pressure slightly uh, rises in that bottle. Then uh, the wave travels through the bottle, bounces from the bottom and travels back up. And when the wave leaves the bottle, the pressure uh, lowers again. But we need to find the natural frequency on which this bottle will resonate. Well, how to find out uh, natural frequency of this bottle? We can blow it. So here I come. Yeah, it's like ship leaving uh, its port. Uh, but I have a different bottle here, which is slightly larger, and I can blow even this. And as you could probably guess, uh, the sound was different. And uh, every bottle has a different sound, and the sound differs uh, by three, uh, three things. The first is an area of, of the neck. The second one is uh, the length of the neck. And the third one, which is uh, like most of you probably guessed, is the volume of the container, volume of the bottle, which changes the sound. The larger the container, the deeper the sound, the lower the frequency of the sound will be. Well, I told you that uh, when sound wave gets into the bottle, the pressure slightly rises, and when the sound wave leaves the bottle, the pressure slightly uh, lowers. Well, the frequency in which this happens is around 200 times per second. So I can't do it with my hands, that's why I have to blow it. And these uh, flash from the, from the beginning, uh, that were rotating, uh, have the natural frequency of 121 hertz. And with that frequency, I can make them rotate. Well, this is called uh, Helmholtz resonance, when the bottle starts to vibrate. The walls are starting to vibrate and they are pressing out or pushing out the air and then sucking it in and then pressing out, then sucking it in and pressing out and sucking in, etc., etc., etc. And they're doing it really fast. But if that was the reason for uh, movement, it wouldn't move if the air was uh, leaving the bottle uh, like in the line. We, we could have a laminar flow. We don't have the laminar flow here. Here, uh, The air leaving the bottle creates vortices uh, in close proximity to the neck and they're best shown by a video that we uh, pre-recorded before.
Well, if there was a laminar flow, the smoke would leave the bottle and would continue in a line from this bottle. But because of uh, that, that there are, uh, there is not a laminar flow, uh, and there are vortexes that uh, you could see on the video, the air leaving the bottle, like the next wave that comes, will push from these vortices and travel back to the bottle. And this wave, this sound wave, takes uh, with itself a momentum which can give the momentum to the bottle and set it on its trajectory forward. So uh, push by a push, 121 times per second, the bottle starts to rotate in direction from the neck. And I can show you that not every frequency works. I will change the frequency that I'm playing from the speaker and I will play 200 Hertz, okay? And nothing happens because I didn't choose uh, the natural frequency of the, f of the bottles. If I change it back to uh, those 121 Hertz, 